Teardown time. I was uh, wandering through my local Home Depot and I noticed that they're now stocking a couple types of uh, T8 tubes that are made out of LEDs. Uh, one bulb designed by Cree and the other one by Philips. Uh, both are 4000 Kelvin. Uh, they're designed to replace the tubes in a fixture like this one here. Uh, that's on the ceiling of my workshop. Uh, meant to be drop-in replacements. No need to change out the ballast. Um, I'm going to take a look at the Cree first and uh, in a later video I'll take a closer look at the Philips. Um, it's interesting, these draw 18 watts, uh, which is uh, less than the 32 watt T8s that they replaced. And about 15 years ago I had to rewire this fixture because they were discontinuing the uh, T12s, uh, which I think were drawing 40 watts each. So definitely a really promising uh, sequence here in terms of energy consumption of these uh, bulbs. So my first concern was that uh, these bulbs have big warnings on them that they don't work with every ballast uh, ever designed. I understand that's quite a design challenge. Happy to say that you can see them both here and they're both lit up quite correctly and functioning just fine. So I'm even able to run a Cree on one side and the Philips on the other side without uh, any difficulty. I actually was expecting trouble there, but uh, that works just great. Uh, you notice kind of the first difference. Uh, the Philips has a bit of more of an opaque end than the Cree. The Cree tends to put light all the way to the end of the fixture, emulating that uh, fluorescent bulb just a little bit better. Uh, the other difference is that the uh, Cree uh, tube is made from plastic, so uh, it definitely sort of sags down if you put a pressure on it, and I'm wondering what will happen uh, as it gets really hot during the summer. Uh, my workshop gets uh, pretty toasty, and it will sag down. The Philips is quite different. It's a, it's a glass envelope. So the circuit board is continuous. It runs along the entire tube, and it's long. How long? Well, it's uh, 47 inches, which is about the length of my entire desk. Longest circuit board I've ever seen. Okay, uh, this is the circuit board that's been extracted from the extrusion. There were two end caps that were fit on with snap tabs. I pulled them off and uh, I extracted the longest rigid circuit board I think I've ever seen in my life. Uh, they must be putting these up on absolutely massive panels. I'd love to see the pick and place machine that they use for this one. Uh, on both sides there are some power supply components and then in the middle there are uh, 80 placements of uh, an LED. Uh, the LED looks identical for all those placements. Uh, other neat things you can sort of see, the classic bits from Cree. There is a uh, two-dimensional barcode which points to some sort of process control. Uh, here's the text which indicates it indeed was designed by Cree. It says 2014, uh, so the design actually has been out for a bit. I think Cree actually had a bit of trouble with their very first batch of these bulbs. They had to recall them all. So they ran into a bit of trouble. Uh, below the Cree logo, a reassuring indication that there's a UL certification for this, so that's great. Good to see a nice safety certification. Uh, let's see if we go over here. Those are called fiducials. They're used by the pick and place machine to orient uh, its uh, head so it places the part in the exact uh, correct position. Uh, if I take a look at the side of the board, it looks like they're probably snapped off, so I presume they're built in huge sheets. Uh, scored and then snapped uh, before they're slid into the tube. So that seems like a pretty efficient uh, technique. Um, let's take a look now at the actual circuit uh, topology. Okay, circuit analysis. This is a fun one because it's a single-sided circuit board. Uh, what these are is photographs of the board and they've had uh, backlit it uh, fairly brightly. So not only do you see the components, of course, you can see the traces below. So it's a very fast circuit to uh, trace out. There's parts of both sides of the uh, long, long circuit board. And uh, the first thing you note is that there's nothing really sophisticated going on. These are diodes, there's some uh, resistors, some capacitors, an inductor. Uh, and much the same on this side, there's no sort of a sophisticated integrated circuit. The other thing you notice, there's four diodes on the left-hand side and four diodes on the right-hand side, uh, which sort of implies the... Uh, you think maybe a bridge rectifier on each side of the assembly, but that's not quite true. Because uh, you can notice the uh, diodes are all in series. I think they've done that for voltage reasons. Uh, when I trace a circuit out, I believe it has a topology similar to this. Basically, they have diodes in series to uh, allow for the high working voltage required by the circuit. Same thing in here. There's actually four capacitors. They're basically uh, smoothing out the power supply. But when you look at the actual circuit board, uh, you can see they've been placed like this, two in parallel, and then a series com connection. And I believe that allows a higher working voltage rather than just trying to place down a single component. It might also be cheaper. Uh, there is some sort of network topology here, and there's a network topology here, uh, which feeds the assembly. Um, and uh, then there's, I think there's a series of diodes. I'm not quite sure if they all go in one direction or they go in a, a serpentine direction. We'll take a look at the uh, trace layout on the uh, circuit boards for the LED in a moment, because it also is uh, fairly interesting. 
But I guess that was really surprising to me. I sort of expected a really sophisticated topology, and yet here we have uh, just a handful of uh, really inexpensive discrete components. Uh, by the way, no fuse or anything like that. I guess that safety aspect would have been provided by uh, the ballast. So here's the serpentine. The LEDs seem to not just be connected in one long row. The serpentine, one row is labeled A and one labeled uh, B. I guess they do that. They put them in two strings to uh, get the working voltage the correct direction. I just sort of highlight the sequence here. These two seem to be tied together, and then, of course, the next two seem to be tied together. And I think that means that you're looking at two series strands of LEDs. Okay, well, that was the... Uh, Cree T8 to LED uh, bulb teardown. That's a, just a huge circuit board. I must admit, I've had so much trouble actually photographing this thing. I had to bring out all sorts of uh, techniques just to uh, photograph it. But um, that we uh, that is a unique, uh, very interesting assembly.